Alright. Alright, I'm caught up. I know what we're doing. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Alright, I get it now. Fuka's being Fuka. She thinks she can uh, steal money to pay off her uh, sins. Okay, I get it. So, did you two come up with the amount of hell you need to collect? I need to prepare an invoice. The amount? By the way, how much do you plan on collecting, Artina? Me? The damages owed to Celestia by this corrupted mint amount to 1,187,428 That's like four digits less than what you said last time. As usual, we have no way to tell how you came up with that amount. Trust me, the amount I came up with is completely accurate. Do you doubt my legitimacy? No, absolutely not! Desco does not doubt Artina! Then I call dibs on whatever's left over after Artina collects hers! You can't do that! That's just extortion! You have to come up with an exact amount or it's not fair! Okay, then I'll just round up and say... Oh, a jillion hell! A jillion hell? That's not even a real number! How do you know? No Prinny could ever earn that kind of money in a jillion years! Even if a Prinny can't, Big Sis saved another world from numerous crises! She deserves it! Who is she gonna pay the money Listen to? Listen to me, Desko. Fuka is collecting money to pay off her sins. She is charged with scheming for world domination. Plus, she may be guilty of more things, seeing as how she forgot all about it. No way! I mean, I hope not. Anyway, an overlord couldn't even commit a crime that cost a jillion hell to pay off. It's better to have as much money as possible. I heard a rumor that just as your soul is getting purified, if you bribe death, you get to have one wish come true when you reincarnate. Who told you this? You're gonna bribe a measle. Like it's a me you don't need to bribe a measle. It's a measle. Yeah, so it was a lie. Even if it's not true, I'm sure death would do anything I want if I give him that much money. I highly doubt that. Well, you never know, right? It won't hurt to take a chance. A chance? I wonder if this is Fuka's way of accepting her death. Then... Alright. If you really want to try this, then go for it. Thanks, Artina. I knew you would understand. A beautiful phantom thief. If I was, if I was a measle, I'd just reap her and get her, get her out of here. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, Desco? You look kind of out of it. Huh? Oh, nothing. Big sis, that wish of yours. I wish it to take over the world, and therefore you, Desco, be rendered useless. Alright, what we got? Thankfully, they're still lower than us, but I I assume the level... Uh, really? Plus two is only there? That's weird. But I, I imagine the um, level disparity is gonna kick in the higher gear real quick. <laughs> that shit gonna be busting real quick, like. I'm gonna do it! This. What's this? 
Hey, how good we get? All of them. All of them. All of that. All of that. Okay, good. Despite the levels, they don't have a like a lot of HP compared to the damage I do, which quite frankly I'm fine with. <laughs> quite frankly, I am completely fine with. Also, because I never leveled Artina in the uh, in the main game, Artina's not going to get used in her own story part. <laughs> Okay, no, so it doesn't have to be the same, the same item. Oh no, it does have to be the same item type. But even then, Desko and Gig could not be dual wield for some reason. Alright, well we're gonna just, uh... Let's use an element, why not? I can't reach. Damn it. Yeah. Nope, that is a shame. There we are. I was hoping to use the plus, but oh well. Unless... Rip again? Oh no, we can, get, we can get right up to him. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. You know what, Desk? Desk, I just realised. Let's hit with that. Hey, okay. Items for days, boys. I mean, win the mint, so we should be getting good shit. Let's be honest. Really? That was. That was your power play? Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Probably start uh, getting some more kills with this boy because he is behind. Not by a whole lot, but he is still behind. By like, you know, 200 levels. Which is why I'm at the point where 200 levels is not a whole lot, all things considered. Ah, oh, god damn, I was hoping that my boy would get killed, but oh well. We here now. To be fair, that was double magic change, so it makes sense why he didn't get the kill. What do you mean, were? Greedy? I'm just good with money! How could you? <laughs> Big sis! Oh, yeah! Didn't you want to talk or something? What's up? Um, well... About your wish! Huh? What about it? Close to making it come true. 
Jessica is so happy. Uh huh. <laughs> You're a good girl, Desco. Okay, the beautiful Phantom Thief triangles are gracefully moving on. Is Big Sis's wish really for world domination? Then once her wish comes true, Desco will have no reason to exist. When that time comes, what is Desco supposed to do? What's wrong, Desco? You're acting pretty weird. Did something happen? Desco isn't weird! There's always a girl like Desco in every classroom! Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, alright. What? Desco? She is actually Has she ever been to a classroom? How does she know what a classroom is? <laughs> Oh, that's just rude. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, what was that? No, what what was that? So, where's the safe? The vault. There you are. Giga Cat? Oh yeah, Giga Cat. Are you the ones who are trying to take over the mint? You have no idea what you're up against. As long as I, Hell Money, am the director of Hell the Money. This kind of absurdity won't fly. Hell Money is your name. The director? So he's the boss around here. If we defeat him, then this place will belong to us Tri Angels. Um, I'm only here to collect money. Please don't include me in this. Desco didn't expect the boss to appear so soon. If we defeat him now, Big Sis will be... Director Hell Money is known to have as much power as former President Hugo. His strength has earned him the position of protecting this important corruptor mint facility. He's a powerful opponent. This is true. He was like level 80. Does he really think he can handle the full might of the beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels? He needs to learn his place. Defeated Hugo? That is accomplished by Tyrant Malvatorez. I mean, yes. You're just Klingons who followed along behind. Also, yes. Don't flatter yourself. Klingons? <laughs> Let me tell you something. The only reason Balzi won was because of me. Um. In some fights, maybe. What is that supposed to mean? Everything that's happening here is all just in my dream. That means all of Balzi's victories up until now are thanks to me. What? Hey, what is this kid saying? What's this about a dream? I don't understand. Should I be feeling sorry for her? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm sorry about all this. And yet, yeah, maybe just a tad. Hey, why are you playing along with him? You should feel sorry for yourself, Director Hell Money. And I'm about to show you why. I still love that goddamn animation where Desco gets on her tail like that. 
As I move damage, why would you do that? Why would you do this? More ally move damage. Why would you do this? Also, hello. Rare chests. Mm. Yeah! Well, first we're just gonna... We're gonna just delete. Really? Oh, because... Oh, no, because... Uh, I did that. I can only get... I can only get two. We can't reach uh, that mage. Height problem. Yeah. All right. But ah no, can't do that unless. Time to bust some balls. Time to bust some balls. Here. All right, and that mage at the top can get. Can you get height? Uh, no. Height. Ah oh, damn, that's crazy. 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 Man, you know what? That's crazy. <laughs> that's wild you did that, like goddamn. Anyway. Oh, you lucky ass bastard. <laughs> you lucky ass bastard, you. Can can Ad can Adele yote him? Can you yote up there? No. Hi, right, damn, that's crazy. Here I come. Here I come. Ha! Damn, that's crazy. Okay, that's wild. You guys, damn, <laughs> y'all tried. All right. I'm glad y'all pulling that work. Anything to get up there? Or to hit up there? I don't think so. Can do that. Alright! Damn, that's crazy. Y'all guys tried. Y'all guys really out here trying.
All that fusing, what you got to show for it? All that fusing, what you got to show for it? Nothing. Ah, damn it. Alright. Actually. Nope. God. Alright. I could have yoted her, but eh. You know what? I probably should have yoted her, honestly. Speaking of yoke. Get yoked. Star, you, move. Oh, we can't hit the thing? That's a shame. Can't do that, though. You would probably die if you walk across that, honestly. Fair enough. But also no. <laughs> Fair enough, but also no. Alright, you do that, buddy. I believe in you. Alright, lovely. Alright, lovely. That's a lot of XP. That's a lot of XP. Now what do you say? That was the power of the beautiful Phantom Thief Triangles. As well as the power of my dream. I can't believe I actually lost. And now, the mint has been taken over by this delirious child. This is a nightmare. Yeah, that's right. This is a nightmare. So I better go wake up from it as soon as possible. After I take a Jillian Hell. A Jillian Hell? We don't have that kind of money here. Are you stupid or something? Yes, yes she is. We've been over this. Understand that this is a fair amount based on the damages suffered by Celestia because of this place. Fine. All the money we print is stored in the safe back there. Just wait for us to make more. <laughs> My nightmare is finally coming. 
coming to an end. And Big Sis's dream will come true. Desco, what's the matter with you? Is your stomach hurt or something? about finally getting our hands on a jillion hell. Are you sure? Okay, then. This isn't something Desko should be sad about. Big Sis's wish is finally gonna come true. As her sister, Desko should be happy. Even if Big Sis's wish is to conquer the world. Even if Desko's reason to exist will no longer be valid. Desko... Wait, it grows out of... Wait, it grows out of her back? <gasps> Wait... It grows out of her back? I was unaware of this knowledge. Okay. This is the mint safe? It looks really sturdy for some reason. A normal demon couldn't bust through this. Not even you would have been able to break into this kind of safe on your own, Artina. Aren't you glad we teamed up? No, if I could have done my usual recon, a safe like this wouldn't have been a problem. It would have been a piece of cake. Piece of cake, huh? Your personality really changes when it comes to money. It's what I like about you. Anyway, we basically got the Jillian Hill. My nightmare will be over soon, and my awesome wish is about to come true! I can't wait! You're contradicting yourself, Luca. This is all a dream, but you still want your wish to come true when you reincarnate? Uh, contradicting? Yes, Artina is right! If Big Sis's wish will come true, then Desko should be happy, because she's Big Sis's little sister. Desko, are you sure you're okay? If you can't talk to Fuka about it, you can come to me anytime. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, Def, we'll get money for you. Just shut up. Jokers were invading the mint. I got a little worried, so I came to check things out. And what do you know? It's the three of you. What are you thinking? Three jokers? You're including me with that. How would we not? Do you know what you've gotten yourselves into? The mint is one of the most important facilities in the netherworld. Do you think you could really get away with doing something like this? We're not invading it. We just came to collect what the Netherworld owes us for saving its ass. I seem to remember constantly hearing the phrase, bringing it under our control. Collect what the Netherworld owes you? What are you talking about? What you're doing is plain stealing! The Netherworld is just starting to get back on its feet after what Nemo did! Even if President Axe will let you act on your selfish reasoning, I won't! Wait, so he- wait, so he is still the president? I can't believe I'm letting a demon talk sense into me! Wait, so this is set after the end of the game, but- yourself, But Axel is still the president? Justice, our beliefs, our mission! How can you justify what you're doing? And shut up about your sleep talk! to you for our justice and beliefs and for my jillion hell. Come on, Desco! Artina! Final formation! We are Tri-Angels!
What in the world is going on now? Final for... We are... What about the beautiful Phantom Thief part? When did we rehearse this? <laughs> when did we rehearse that? Oh, we've got no range and no entry. Recovery, enemy turbo. He's at 1,600. What the fuck did I miss? God damn, it is a good thing I fucked up. Oh, uh, goddamn, Asagi, be Asagi before this because fucking Jesus. Although there's a very easy way to get around that problem. I can do anything in my dream. Rosalind will not be coerced. Let's go. Oh. There. Oh. Oh, I'm not scared. Hey, please. Time to bust some balls. Handle this. Maybe still not enough. All right. Why can't we lift him? Why can't we lift him? There's nothing about no lifting, so why can't we lift him? Okay, but why can't he be lifted? He can move twice? What? Can't be lifted. Alright. Alright, well there goes that entire- The entire fucking game plan was, yo, let's just lift him off that. <laughs> Alright. Plus, we can heal up when we're on there, so... Oh, we can't, we can't attack through the no entry, because that makes sense. Alright. Too far. Out of range? What do you mean out of range? 
Oh, because no range. Oh, no, that's it. Never mind. I completely disregarded the no range uh, one. Is he fucking leveling? He's fucking leveling up. Oh, level up 10%. I didn't even notice that one. I guess I just... My, blank, my brain just blanked on that one too. God damn it. Alright. Well, let's uh, let's deal with that. Right. Let's just deal with that. Death. So, like, what's the point of taking it to give to him? How? This is preposterous. Yeah, this dream doesn't make any sense. Demons telling me I'm dead when I'm not, slaving around for no pay, fighting nasty demons every day, and finally, almost getting turned into Axel, the epitome of all idiots. At least this hellish nightmare is almost over. With a jillion hell, only a rosy, happy life is waiting for me when I wake up! Really? What are you talking about? You're starting to scare me! I know what you mean, but that's still a little harsh to say to a girl. It's really not. Martina is right. It's not scary. It's supposed to be happy. Because... Because finally, Big Sis's dream will... Her dream to dominate the world will... Tesco <laughs> needs to be happy! <laughs> Big Sis's dream is coming true! Huh? What's the matter, Desko? Why are you crying? Did a measle touch you in your no-no area? How and why would you even say that? the feathers just then. Aw, oh, there, there. I get it, okay? Now, stop crying. You're so silly, Desko. You're the only one who can make my dream of dominating the world come true. So what's your wish, then? I don't agree with the idea of world domination, but that was very heartwarming. So what is this all about, anyway? I don't get it. I'm gonna pay off my sins with the Jillian Hell that I'm gonna get. A Jillian Hell? What the? That's ridiculous! I'll give you some of it, so can you make my wish? No, you give him all of it. You're bribing death. I know all about the rumor where one wish will come true when I reincarnate if I bribe death. Uh, I don't even know where to start! your wish anyway. Desko really wants to know. Oh, there's so many. Be the cutest model in the universe, be the most popular girl in the universe. And there are a bunch 
bunch more sweet and cute dreams that I want to accomplish, even more than dominating the world. More than dominating the world? Deska was a little sad to hear that. You've got it all wrong. Even if you pay off your sins, you're not gonna reincarnate as yourself, you know. What? The ninth grader, Fuka Kazumatsuri, is dead. You're not gonna revive. You're gonna reincarnate and be reborn as someone else. Reborn? What do you mean? What are How, you talking about? If, even if, if, even like if we go on the assumption of like, yeah, her, her belief that this is a dream is still real. She knows how death works in real life. <laughs> so, she, does she just believe that people die and come back all the time? So if Big Sis pays off her sins and reincarnates, she's not gonna be Big Sis anymore? Correct. The person named Fuga will be gone. She will reincarnate into the human world and start a new life as a new person. New life? What about the 14 years that I lived? All of my memories, my heart, and my Do you mind? understand how death works? They'll all be gone. Poof, just like that. That's what reincarnating is. That's what purifying your soul means. Really? Are you serious? What the? This is ridiculous. Nobody told me. What do you think that? death is as a concept? Everything? <laughs> Including Desco? What about Desco? She's gonna forget all about Desco? Yeah, pretty much. How do you not know what death is? How do none of you know what death is as a concept? Alright. Paying off my sins means losing everything about myself? Fuka's heart is buffeted by this unbearable truth, just like a rubber ducky that is tossed around by a stormy ocean. Desco can't believe Big Sis will forget all about her! Desco's heart, too, sways like a girl riding the bus, sitting on the seat right above the wheel, getting car sick. Oh, how tragic. Then a beautiful man appears like the wind. He's a vampire who only drinks sardine blood due to a mysterious incurable disease. What? Here, this sardine will help you. Wait, who, wait, who are we telling this story to? Sir, Falva Torres. The gust eventually brings the storm and rattles the two girls' hearts. What will become of Fuka and Desco? Look forward to next time on Netherworld Romance. Crimson Sisterhood, Episode 2, Beautiful Vampire. Big Sis, my tears won't stop! What is happening? What's wrong with you guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Amizel. A lot, clearly. <laughs>